please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. Certainly. In Python, you can use arrays to store various data types, including strings. However, Python arrays are not as flexible as lists when it comes to handling different data types, so you might find lists more commonly used for storing strings and other types of data. That being said, I'll provide you with a tutorial on how to use Python arrays to store strings, along with code examples. Python provides a module called Array in the standard library, which allows you to create arrays of a specified data type. To store strings in an array, you can use the array module with the data type code str for strings. Here's a step-by-step -step tutorial. You can create an array using the array constructor. Specify the data type code str to indicate that the array will contain strings. In this example, string underscore array is an array containing three strings, apple, banana, and cherry. You can access elements in the array using index notation, just like with lists. Arrays are mutable, so you can modify their elements. You can use the append method to add elements to the end of the array. You can use the remove method to remove a specific element. This tutorial covers the basics of storing strings in Python arrays. Remember that for most use cases involving a collection of strings, Lists are more commonly used due to their flexibility and built-in functionality. ChatGPT Certainly. In Python, you can use lists to store strings instead of arrays. Lists are more flexible and versatile, allowing you to store elements of different data types, including strings. However, if you specifically need an array, you can use the array module in Python. I'll provide examples for both lists and arrays. Let's start with lists. In this example, we create an empty list called string underscore list and then use the append method to add strings to it. Finally, we print the elements and iterate through the list. If you specifically need to use arrays, you can use the array module. In this example, we import the array module and create an array of type str, string. We then use the append method to add strings to the array and demonstrate accessing elements and iterating through it. While lists are more commonly used in Python for their flexibility, arrays may be more memory efficient in certain situations. Choose the appropriate data structure based on your specific requirements. ChatGPT